I'm at the Caravan of the Year event for 2023. Sponsored by MSA, we're staying in the beautiful Yarra Valley while we check out the vans. Just behind me here is a majestic night SLE caravans. And very shortly, we're going to give it a very thorough inspection. The majestic is a couple's van and it's for a couple who like no fuss traveling, like a little bit of um, caravan park traveling, like a little bit of staying in the bush, but not really hardcore off-grid camping. So this suits, I think, quite a big market for those who like to do a little bit of both. So the Majestic, probably your, your quintessential Australian couples touring van. It's 19 foot six, the traditional layout, bed at the front, living area in the middle and ensuite down the back. And at 83,990, while it might be considered at entry level, it's really, really good value, I reckon, in today's market. Prices have just gone up, as we all know. It's got everything inside that a couple, I reckon, would need to travel Australia. The livability in the Majestic was pretty good. Now, this is not a wickedly expensive van with the most expensive mattress you could imagine, but it still had a good pillow top. And importantly, the kitchen layout was quite friendly and easy to use. Decent sized pantry, good sized drawers. And again, I did like the layout. Simple to use to get from the fridge to the kitchen and the cooker. Majestic are a long time company in Australia. They've been around for quite a few years and they so certainly know what they're doing about van construction. They certainly, in my opinion, offer a value for money. The Majestic is built on a Proline chassis and has roller rocker suspension, which is a bit old school, but is tried and true and very reliable. It's built on a Maranti frame with composite wall construction, a one-piece roof and fully tinted windows, which was something that we hadn't seen and certainly makes a difference to the um, ambient temperature inside the van. I think the roller rocker suspension, it, it's a bit underrated for a general purpose caravan and uh, it's quite capable of getting around Australia. It's, it's big enough to, to live in uh, for long periods of time, plenty of room, lots of amenity, enough battery to keep you out of trouble. Yeah, I reckon it's a good, I reckon it's good value. If you're the sort of caravaner who likes to spend some time in caravan parks, but also head down some gravel roads and spend a few days in the bush, you could absolutely do this with the Majestic. It's got two 95 litre freshwater tanks on board, one 95 litre grey water tank. It's got a couple of nine kilo gas bottles, 270 watt solar panels on the roof, a couple of AGM batteries and a three-way fridge. So that's going to make sure that you'll be very comfortable for a few days in the bush with that setup. There's quite a few innovative features about this. A couple of things I really like. One was that there are removable shelves in the overhead lockers. Often manufacturers either have cupboards that are full of space or fixed shelves. If you have shelves that can be removable, it's great for people to, who'd like to choose what they put in their cupboards. The other feature I really like was that the drawers under the seats they're much more efficient in terms of usage, and I, reckon, I think that's a good idea. One of the standout details about the Majestic 19.6 is its towability. It is a simple van. It is such a breeze to tow. It's not too tall, not too long, and it's not too heavy at 3,200 kilos ATM or 3,500 kilos at no cost. You should look to tow the Majestic with a large SUV, but you won't need an American truck. You could use a modern double cab ute, but I think you'll be at its limit. In terms of customer care, uh, Majestic has been around for about 20 years. So they've been in this game a while. They offer a very generous five year nationwide warranty on everything in their vans. And they have um, a very unique sort of traveling warranty. They call it an integrity warranty, where they will um, hook you up with a reputable repairer. No matter where you are in the country, if you have an issue with something in your van, they will connect you with the, with the closest repairer so that you can get the issue um, dealt with as soon as possible and you can continue on your travel. So I think that's terrific. I think the X factor of, of the Majestic is the fact that it flies under the radar a bit. It's a conservative looking van, but it's the sort of van that makes sense for a lot of people. And I think even though it hasn't got big checker plate sides and big tires on it, it makes a lot of sense.